quick. Turn them loose, let them run. Won't be a minute and the race is on. And once they hit that side of the pond, the dogs went to sing out their sweet song. So you want to see a bear track? Right there's a bear track. Pretty fresh, probably from today. You can see the paws and the, the toenails actually. You can see he walked over here. I don't know, I mean, yeah, kind of a big bear. You see, there's the paw prints. Up right over this way, big bear. Let's see, we got some turkeys here. Uh, we got four inches of snow in places. That's just a perfect paw right there. Perfect paw. We're really in a bear area. You can see uh, what they did to this small pine tree. Tore it right off. It's pretty big, he gnawed the top. Actually see where the teeth Teeth went right in. That's a pretty big tree. It's about almost it's almost three inches across. Pretty big pine tree marking their territory. And there's a ton of trees just like this. Right here where we're uh, trying to get some hair. Okay, we just struck up here. Bo found this one. We're up here in the Catskills on some state land, running some hares here today. I think it's April 11th. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can get a hair on film here and uh, see if they've uh, changed their colors. Should be getting uh, some brown patches on them now. Took us a while. Took us about 40 minutes to find them. We've got bear sign everywhere. All the trees are are broke. We got bear manure right here. You can see all the seeds there. And uh, we got tracks everywhere too. So it's uh, middle of April and definitely the, the bears are out and about. Okay, we're out here in a rainstorm. It's been raining pretty heavy lately. Uh, everything is soaked. I am soaked. Dogs are soaked. Um, we just got a hair going up in about 10 minutes ago and uh, they're taking them about 100 yards down the mountain here, and maybe they'll bring them around. Uh, it's about 6 o'clock, so we only have maybe a little after, so we only have a little bit more time here before it gets really dark. Um, and uh, we'll see we'll see how they do today. Uh, they haven't been out in a while. Okay, they're 250 yards away. They just went down the mountain there, and uh, now they're coming back up. There's a rabbit. Way back up there. He just passed right there. I don't know if you can see him. There he goes, there he goes. He just passed in front of me. We'll see who comes through first here. Somewhere right through here. Let's see if I can find his tracks here. Let's see, he came right through here. Don't want to mess up the dogs. Alright. Is that his track? Maybe. I don't know, I can't find his tracks. At least we'll have the dogs coming through here. I didn't see any big patches of brown on him, but he's kind of just a, a cloudy, cloudy white. But it could have just, it could have been from the rain too. I don't know. I didn't get a great look at him. He was pretty far away. Here they 
come. It's got a pretty big lead. Yep, so this is Northern Catskill Hare. There they go. They're hammering them right now. Running them a lot better once they calm down a bit here. Yep, so according to the Garmin, they're uh, 250 yards away, and they're headed out. So I just sit here and look at the Garmin and wait for them, for them to circle and uh, try to find the best area to see them. But uh, as you can see, we're in this thick, thick balsam and spruce trees, and it just we just can't see them all the time. So this makes it a lot easier to get them on film. Still very hard, though. So, dogs are starting to bring them back. Uh, according to the Garmin, uh, he should pass through here again. The reason I'm standing here right where I am is because it says he's passed through here twice, right where I'm standing. So, uh, they're starting to come back, and uh, hopefully they'll come right back through here. He's probably real close to me right now. Let them lose, let them run. It won't be a minute and a race.